Uh, hello traders, uh, this is DFXS. Uh, welcome to TFX uh, family and I believe that guys you are all doing good. Uh, in today's video, I just want to cover a very important uh, setup or a very important topic that everyone with our system, whether MT4 or MT5, you should watch this video and pay more attention because uh, some of the settings that I'm about to share with you guys um, it is in uh, other systems, so maybe it is in a uh, uh, pip center, blah 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 blah. So especially uh three is it three or four system pip center levels and alpha gold. So three pay attention uh, because the settings that I'm about to share here, you'll find them in pip center, you'll pa you'll find them in alpha gold and also in levels for both MT4 and MT5, and this is all about account management, how you can manage your account, not to blow your account, how you can manage your account, uh, in other words, with a risk setup, risk management setup or setting. So I just want you, I don't know whether you'll take a pen uh, or you'll grab this on your mind, I don't know, but these are very, very, very important because they uh, the setups that I'm about to share with you, the uh, it is good to know about them. It is good to understand them. It is good to know that the system you have, it contains everything that you really need, but you, you also need to give it time to understand the system because it's so very safe, very secure. It is the systems with even zero risk. And that is what I'm about to share here. Uh, with you guys now let's talk about the settings so number one let me open uh the robot by itself you just go here to corner and i just want to share how you can protect your account because uh, i do believe you know how the market works all right and because these systems are very 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 professional i just want you to pay attention in whatever i'll be saying here so number one let's start with the setups that you are supposed to understand or to know how they work so that you can see if you can set them. I advise you set them first in your demo account, not in your real account, to see if it is that that you want, all right? You work with the default setting, earning and learning at the same time. So here, what I'm about to share with you, test it on your demo account. So today we are going to talk about the settings in Alpha Gold, though, you are supposed to watch this video because almost all of them, they are also in Pips Hunter and Levels EA for both MT4 and MT5. So number one, we are going to learn about what is this continuous trade. The continuous trades by default, it can be in true or false, but what is the meaning of this uh, uh, continuous trades. Remember, we have so many settings, but I'm just starting with the important ones that you are supposed to know them as the first setups. So when we say continuous trade, if I set these continuous trades into false, I mean that if this EA pick the cell here, let's say for example, and uh, maybe there was a stop loss here, or maybe there is a, a, a take profit somewhere here. If I set this into false, it means that after taking this cell, after taking this cell and maybe hit the TP here, it won't sell again. It will wait for a buy opportunity. Are you getting the point? So if I set this into true, it means that if it takes sell opportunity and maybe there will be another uh, supply or uh, supply zone at this area, it will also again take another sell. But when continuous, we set into true uh, into false, it means that there is no continuous trade. It's only buy, then it will be looking for uh, a sell, then it will be looking for buy. So it's only, it will buy, and after buy, it will be looking for a, uh, uh, a sell opportunity. So if it was sell, it will be looking for buy opportunity. This is why we always set uh, continuous trade into true so that it can sell. If there is a supply, another supply zone here, or maybe there is a, 
uh, what we call order block at this area, again, it can sell according to the direction of the market. So I do believe you got the meaning of continuous trade because that is the first setup to understand why set true and why set uh, false. Number two, uh, we are going to check uh, about close... Uh, Let's learn about this close by. If I click here, you'll see there is close by formation. This is when you are working with a, with a Renko because maybe you want, if there is a, a formation, I do believe I've shared this uh, in so many videos about the Renko. If there is two or three Renko, uh, Renkos who are going against the trend, then it will take the profit at that point. Uh, but here we are talking about when trading the candles, all right? So these setups, they are good for the candles. Uh, maybe next video, I will share about how to work with these setups also in Renko. Almost familiar, but the difference will be here in this setup of close by formation. So when working with candles, we would like you to understand why close by signal. Because what I'm about, uh, I'm sharing here, it is when you want to trade from zone to zone. When I say zone to zone, I mean from this zone to another zone. And for instance, Let's say, for instance, the market can break this supply and continue going up because this is what you really need to understand. Here, we are not talking about the TP, setting the TP. There is no TP in the settings that I'm sharing with you here. We, we are trying to see how we can do our setup from zone to zone. All right. And for instance, let's say, for, for example, there was a zone at this point. Let me show you here. Let's say there was a zone at this point that they, this is the uh, resistance or maybe supply. So sometimes we all know about the behaviors of the market. Sometimes it can break this area and it can continue going back, maybe retest, then it can continue going up and up and up again after breaking the resistance and that is normal. And let's say for example, you wanted if the market can take a sell here and if it will break this uh, resistance and go up, you'd like for this robot to take a buy signal, close the signal, sell signal, because let's say the market has changed the direction and continue with the, an up trade. Then there was a sell at this point because we know when this, uh, when the robot detected the resistance here, like here, it would have sell. All right, so the same thing is here. It would have sell at this point. And let's say, for example, the market continue with bullish market after taking the sell signal. And we want this sell to be close and the EA to take a buy. So we have option, two option here. We can, we can allow the EA to close that false sell signal and enter the buy. Or we can allow the we can set the EA to close the sell, but not to enter into the market. So the, that is a matter of choice that you should get this in your mind. It can close and enter the buy, or you can set it to close and not to enter into the market, but to wait for a fresh signal. So number one, let's start. I want this robot to close the sell, let's say there was a sell here and the market broke this A, assume that it did come to this area. We want to, maybe it comes like few pips, then it goes against and break the resistance, then the market continue going up, 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 and up again, all right? What, let's, let me see if that, yeah, a good example like here. Let me, give that example here. Let's assume we had a resistance at this point. Then the market took the sale at this area, but the market went up and up and up again. This is what I mean, because this is a, 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 a bullish market, but maybe there was a resistance at this point or a supply. Then the market broke, uh, tried to, to drop just a few pips, like five pips, 
then the market went up and up and up again. And you want the EA now, after breaking this resistance, to enter the buy. All right. And I said, let us start that. You want this EA to enter, uh, to close this cell by this zone, by breaking this zone, but not to take any buy signal, to wait for a fresh cell. Let's say the cell was at this point. So we want this EA not to enter the buy. We want the EA to close, sell, uh, to close the sell signal by breaking this uh, by breaking this resistance. So all you need to do, it is to give the EA a command. After breaking this resistance, for how many pips do you want? For how many pips do you want after breaking the resistance for EA to close the, the order? So this being our super zone, we would like if the market break the resistance and go like 10 pips, just 10 pips, you can just risk only 10 pips, or you can risk even five pips. After breaking the resistance and go like five pips without returning back or to uh, without dropping, let the EA close the position with that small loss of 10 pips and wait for the average signal. So that is the setting we are going to do now uh, practically. So number one, by doing that, the most important things, we are going to set this into true. Uh, where is this close by? We are going to close this by, by signal. We should set it by uh, signal or it can be by formation. That doesn't matter a lot, but let's uh, uh, set it uh, close by signal, all right? Number two, something that's, very important, it is this close opposite signal, all right? Because now there it will detect like there was a buy signal, but so we want the EA to close by opposite signal. So all we can do here again, we can set here close by opposite signal. There is a reason why I'm making this simple to you because when we are trading zone to zone, we are supposed to set close by opposite signal because it is signal to signal. That is the meaning of close by opposite order, all right, or opposite uh, signal. So opposite signal, it means if there was a buy here, you want the EA to close with the opposite signal. When entering the cell, then it will close by and sell uh, uh, and uh, close the buy with the sell. So that is the signal uh, closing with the opposite signal. So opposite signal, if there was a buy running from all this area to this area, and when there is a sell signal, it will close by and set a sell signal. So it is good to get that in mind. So if we set this all into true, uh, uh, signal and opposite signal, that is the right thing you are supposed to set. The second thing, it is to set pips, uh, uh, pips hunter, because remember now we want to set not to enter into the market. So we can set the pips hunter like 50 pips, all right? The most important thing now here, it is the break filter. The break filter, you want to risk only 10 pips if it breaks this resistance. All right, we want the market, we want the EA after breaking this resistance and we we'll go like uh, 10 pips, you want this thing to uh, to, uh, to break now or to, to close the sell signal with a loss of 10 pips. So you are supposed to set here 10 pips. If you want to risk like 20 pips, you can set there 20 pips, all right? That's what to set. Now, the next one, it is super uh, or a super D uh, loop back. So when we set here like 10, this is what means it won't enter into the market because it will look back after closing this sell signal, where do we get uh, uh, a demand or order block? So as you can see at this area, they are more than 10 bricks or 10 bars. This means stands for bars. The bars from 
our, uh, our supply or our demand. So if, let's say for instance, if it will look back and see from this supply or from these demands, there are more than 10, uh, 10 candles or 10 bars, it won't enter a buy signal. Remember, it has closed sale. Now it's looping back to see if there is a ten, there is a demand after these 10, uh, 10 candles or 10 bars. So if it look back and see, uh, look back like 10 candles and there is no a, sub, uh, a demand or support at this area, it won't take a buy position. So this means if you want this EA to take, to close sell and to take buy, we are supposed to set here like 200 or 100 so that if it closed this cell, you see now the reason why I said it is good to set this uh, close by opposite or close by signal, the reason why we want to set this one like that one, it is because we wanted after closing the look back, it's very, very important. After closing, it will look back and see and count 200 candles. If it try, uh, let's say for example, we have set here 200, but these bars, all these bars, they are uh, less than 200. This means it will end, it will close sell and enter buy. It is simple as that. But if these bars, let's say for example, these bars, if it look back, uh, let's say for example, we have set here 200. This tells us if these bars are beyond 200, it, uh, uh, before we get into our supply zone, let's say for example, at this area, let me bring my pen. The point is, after taking the, the sale at this point, and the market has gone and break our supply at this area, and we want this EA to close this sale and to enter buy, and we have set 200 bars to look back, 200 bars. So this means if from here, it will start counting all these bars. If this bars 200 gets into this point, this means they were far, 200 bars, they were far from where we have our demand zone. This means it won't take that buy. It will just close that cell because we have set, uh, where, where is our brake filter? We have set our brake filter into 10, uh, 20 pips. So if it goes like 20 pips from our entry point, then it will uh, it will close that sale with that loss of 20 pips, but it won't enter by because this is where we get our end of 200 bars. From here, one, two, three, blah, 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 to here. So there is no a supply, uh, a demand zone at this area. But let's say for instance, from here to here, it's only like 100 to here. It's like 100, uh, 100 bars. And we have sent here 200. This means now it can enter the buy because before getting into our 200, the total of 200, uh, 200 bars, it got a, a, dem uh, a demand zone or a support at this area before counting all 200 bars. So we get, it will get into the market because this one are less than 200 bars and it got this demand zone. The same thing with the opposite of it. All right, guys. So I'm training you to know the reason why uh, the sub D you can set it there 200. All right, guys. The next thing, the next thing now from there, it is what we called zone limit. If I set here 200, then the zone limit again, I should set it 200 because the zone limit works almost the same with uh, we, we, with the super zone uh, or loop back, super loop back. All right, guys. So if I set here, 200, or here we can set even 300. The reason why we set here 300 even more than this 200, it tells you if it has gone more than 200, 300 bricks, 
also it won't take the trade. So the reason why the, the limit, let's say, for example, I set here 100 and here 200 and breaks from this area, breaks from this area, remember here it's 100, here it is 200 from our super zone look back and our zone limit, it is 100. So, and let's say, for example, from this area to here, this is where we get 100 uh, from zone limit. So this tells you if it has gone above 100 bricks from here, even if the super zone look back, you have set 300 and the bars here are, are less than 300, but the zone limit, it is 100. It won't take this bar. It doesn't matter if the super zone look back, they are more than the 200 bars that we are looking for. So the zone limit should be even 300, even 500, when our so, uh, super zone is 200. Are you getting the point? Because let's say for instance, let me show something here. If I set here, where is our zone zone uh, zone limit? If I set here five, you tell the robot if from this from this support the market has gone more than five bars, you are telling the robot not to take any position. If it has gone five bars from our zone at this area. You are telling the robot not to take any position. So if I say I set here 10, I'm telling the robot if it has gone more than 10 bricks or 10 bars from the zone, not to take any buy position. So that's why we want to set we want to set this one even 500 so that. If we want any signal here, if there is a demand here, if there was a demand here, a demand here, and want to, we want this EA to take trades in every demand or in every uh, in every order block, we must set a big volume here or number or period of our zone limit. It is very, very, very important to notice that. Because if you set here 200 and here they are less than even that 200, it won't help you. All right, guys, I do believe you are following it uh, closely. The other setup that you are supposed to activate is exit by zone. Exit by zone also should be set into true. What is this exit by zone? It is exit by zone after the market breaking this one, or when we are get we are targeting closing by opposite signal or by uh or close by opposite order, the moment it breaks this resistance, in order for our break filter to work, because we have set our break filter into 20, 20 pips. All right, if we said if you want to risk 10 pips, you can set 10 pips, all right? In order for this break filter to be activated or to work perfectly, the exit by zone must be set into true. So if you set exit by zone into true, that you have activated the pips that you have set into our break filter. So what I'm sharing with you, Make sure if you want to follow this plan, you set them, as I said, practice them on your demo account and see how profitable they are and how safe you are. All right, guys. So we are setting this exit by zone into true. Now, let's say for instance, also you want this market after closing this cell. The moment it will detect this uh, and you want this uh, EA to take uh, the buy immediately after closing the sale. Remember the pips entry should be zero because if I set, let's say for example, 50 pips, it means that 
after closing this cell, let's say it has taken this cell, even if it's detecting a buy signal, but the pips entry was 50, at 50 pips, it means that after closing this cell, it will wait for 50 pips, whether the market is going on your direction or against your direction, it will wait for market to go uh, the journey at least for 50 pips, either down or up. After going down for 50 pips, it will now look where the signal is. Is it still a buy signal or is it now a sell signal in order to enter the, the trade? So even if the market went up, let's say, for example, it, uh, it closed the sell here, it won't enter the market immediately by even if other setup are set into true. It will wait for 50 pips to finish 50 pips if this signal will still valid, then it will enter a buy signal. So the reason why we are setting this one zero, it is because we want the moment it has break this area and closed the cell with the 10 pips, all right, guys, we want it to enter the buy immediately. And the reason why we want this signal to get into the market immediately or instantly, it is because we are familiar with many times, if the market break this area, many times you'll find that the market will go far. So sometimes there was a false sell signal, the market dropped a little, then again go, took us out here, enter the buy immediately, then boom. So, so many times I do believe you have seen this, trading with support or resistance, supply and demand zone. Uh, uh, when the market break your, uh, your supply, you got that the market also uh, always went far and far without looking back. So this is why we are setting here zero. Instead of waiting the, the 50 pips, let's say, for example, the 50 pips, were to end at this point, and that is where the market will enter the market. So this means we can lose all 50 pips that we were supposed to be in profit. So instead of wasting 50 pips, it is good to set zero or at least 10 pips before market deciding where to go up or down. But most of the time when the market break, our resistance at this level, many times you'll find that market uh, don't look back. It went more than even 100 pips. I do believe when if you have been trading manually, you know what I'm saying. It's true because this is what has been blowing your account. But we can take opportunity with our system, TFX, Alpha Gold, Levels, and Pips Hunter to set it that if it breaks this area, let it close sell and enter the buy. But if you want it to close and you don't want it to enter the buy, but to wait for a fresh signal, you know now what to do. Because I do believe I have explained that by playing with this loop back. It is very simple. So if you want it if, to close the cell, but not to take the buy, Remember, this one should be activated, but now you are supposed to reduce this number into 10. And here also you can set 10 or even less than that, you can set even five. So this means if it can close this cell, it will look back and see that our super zone is very far. Uh, it's very far with 10 bricks or our bars or also our zone limit, it's looping back only and see like, five bars and there was no support and that's why it won't enter the trade. So I do believe guys, you are getting what I'm saying as we continue learning about these uh, profitable uh, setups on how to protect your account and how to play safe and to play a, uh, a very, very safe game using this uh, setup. The last setting now of uh, protecting your account or playing safe uh, at the beginning of this video, I said that uh, guys, you can play a zero risk, but this also depends with your broker and spread and uh, so on. So there's this stop loss. Let me check where we have the stop loss. 
where is our stop loss guys take profit trailing stop loss right if i activate this into true and this one happens when the, there is some spikes in the market or when the market is chopping at least you can bank a lot of pips you can bank a lot of pips and this also will depend with your trailing step all right because this one you can say i just want to risk zero so the stop loss can be zero the moment it enter the market it's like the stop loss is almost your entry point the uh the the the, the uh, what matters there now it is uh, uh what we call the spread or commission so all you can lose there it's only maybe spread or commission many of the time when the market is spiking especially like fridays thursdays and friday you can bank a lot of money by enabling stop loss into zero here you are only risking either commission and this is why you should ask me which broker again i can advise you uh which broker to use uh, uh for zero spread or maybe uh the tight spread that can help you a lot so if i had, uh set here true uh and here zero this means you are trading zero risk we can't say it's an exact zero risk get this into mind you are only risking the spread of your broker or the the commission of your broker so if the market is spiking trust me you'll bank a lot of money because you are not risking much only their spread and from there that's where now you can set here the the trailing at least for two pips 20 stands for 20 points stands for two pips all right guys that stand for two pips or maybe you can set like five pips let's say for example you can set for five pips why am i saying this because you know here the market is going and the stop loss is at your entry point zero risk this is what we call zero risk i do believe you have been seeing this stop loss you don't know why why is the stop loss zero no you can set this the pips of the stop loss that you want so if you want to say uh i also want to have a stop loss of 20 uh 20 pips and uh I don't see the need of setting the stop loss of 20 pips if we have the break filter. If we have the break filter of 20 pips, where is our break filter? If we have the break filter of uh, our 20 pips and we have activated our exit by zone, I don't see if we have activated exit by zone and maybe the break filter we have set it 10 pips, I don't see the need of setting the stop loss 20 pips. Why? Because this one, it is when they break your support or your resistance, your demand or the supply zone. It is very safe here instead of holding big drawdown. I can advise you, but test this in your demo account. I can advise you the moment they break your resistance or your support, let the EA close the order and enter the position instantly. Why? Because if you have lost, let's say here, you enter into, into the market with 0 0.01 uh, minimum lot size, maybe you have lost less than $1, less than, not even $1, less than $1 if you have set here 10 pips. And you can imagine now entering the buy from here to here. How much do you expect you'll be earning? So this means working with the brake filter and uh, uh, it's more, uh, but also the setup that I've shared with you, exit by zone, close by opposite, uh, opposite signal. And this the setup that I've shared with you there, they are very, very important if you can set the robot to enter the, uh, the trade with opposite signal after closing the false signal. All right, I'm I'm saying false signal because I'm saying there was a sell here. All right, but after entering the sell, boom, the market went up. So if we set like ten pips, let's say the ten pips was here, they, they you have lost only ten pips, but the robot took the buy signal by detecting this uh this zone by the big number we set for our zone loop back. It was let's say zone loop back was two hundred. So it can detect this buy. 
So it will cross this cell and enter this buy. So if you lost like 10, uh, less than $1 or $1 from here with 0 0.01, because even people with small accounts, you can grow account with this money management here or risk management that I'm showing you how you can protect your account. So losing less than $1 here, from here to here, I do believe you have more than twenty thirty dollars all right so this means the risk are very low and this is why i've been advising people get the the our pip center get their uh alpha gold get the levels because i know the the settings are here because these are the softwares or the robots that are working zone to zone zone to zone it's very different with the others that are working with indicators like moving average our tm blah 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 but these four key zones you can protect your account, you can win more than the losses. So I'm saying, I don't see the meaning or the importance of using the stop loss while you are using the break filter. But if you don't want to do uh, the exit by zone, again, you can use your stop loss and set the number of the what you are ready to lose, or you can set it zero and play a, a zero risk game. And trust me, you'll be earning, winning more than losses. So I do believe, guys, in this video, you have learned a lot how to protect your account, how to work with it. If it's not yet clear, let me know from your side, guys. And but review this video again and again until you get what I'm saying about those setups. So those are very, very important setups. If you get them, you'll get them on uh, also on our levels and peep center. See what is there and set the way I'm showing you here. Test it in your demo account and you'll see a credible result. Oh, guys, I do believe now it is time to bank. It is to time to enjoy with even a zero risk in the market. Unbelievable, but it is what it is. Thank you for taking advantage of subscribing or purchasing our system when we had the offer. Thank you so much. Let us bank this money. And once again, welcome to TFX family. Thank you.